drive through the streets of Wynwood and it might not seem that there's much going on. But those in the know would argue that this former industrial area, which is now home to over 70 galleries, museums, and collections, is on the verge of greatness. What we have here are serious collections of art, serious and important gallery owners who are striving to keep standards extremely high and um, what's offered here is a range of art. You can go and buy a $200 print or you could go and buy a million dollar Picasso. Thea Goldman recently opened Joey's Restaurant in Wynwood. She's on a mission to help make this community flourish. She views her restaurant as an essential component. To, to ignite a district, really, and to give the uh, Wynwood arts community a place to meet, a place to hang out, uh, a place to meet one's neighbors, and create a sense of community, really. What's unique about this restaurant is that people come and they start talking to everybody else at the other tables. It's, it's hugely sociable. Thea's father-in-law is Tony Goldman, the legendary developer celebrated for reviving South Beach and Soho in New York. Tony Goldman has been investing in Wynwood with his trademark drive and intensity. His aim is to turn this community into a true success story. What you see in, an, in, a, in, an, in a warehousing and industrial district is a very introverted society. They don't want, the, the, the business owners and probably don't want you to see what's inside because all the goods are in there. They're, they're keeping inventories in there. It's nothing to see from the street. It's something in there to be able to keep private for the businesses so that they are secured and they're climate controlled and they want to be inside the space. What we need to do all the time is to turn an introverted community into an extroverted community. As we put people on the streets, slowly you'll start to see storefronts where people can walk on the streets and see what's in there. This is going to take time. Realtor Eric Gonzalez, who works with Lombardi Properties, is also high on Wynwood, which was originally mainly a Puerto Rican neighborhood with its own church. Wynwood originally was an industrial neighborhood, an industrial district. Uh, most of the spaces that are being occupied today were once uh, manufacturing uh, uh, factories, uh, garment factories, um, all open spaces, high ceilings. Um, not your traditional uh, office space or uh, corporate setup, if you will. Uh, I think ideal for uh, small businesses or small companies that are more in, into the creative, uh, in this, um, creative field. Uh, we've uh, found a lot of um, architects considering our spaces. We've found a lot of advertising agents, PR firms, uh, young, hip, companies that are thinking outside the box. Uh, again, I don't think, the spaces is one of the reasons why they've been looking our way, but also our affordable rates is something that they strongly consider. Mike Tesh is the award-winning advertising executive known for his famed FedEx and Dunkin' Donuts campaigns. Time to make the donuts. He's also a talented artist whose work is very popular at the Kelly Roy Gallery in Wynwood. I'm a New York guy, and, and I've been to Chelsea uh, maybe 200 times. And Soho, I lived in Soho, so I, I, I knew galleries there. I knew gallery owners and painters and all that. When I came here, um, Wynwood a year and a half ago was like asleep. And then all of a sudden, you know, six months later, galleries started coming in and one eye opened. Then other galleries came in, then restaurants came in, and another eye opened. So now, Right now, it's fully awake. The cutting edge nature of it. It's so different from other places, most other places, in fact, in Miami. It's, it's, it's a very different kind of an environment. And, uh, and once you come here for the first time, you really sort of get hooked on it. The sense of um, community here, I've not felt in other parts of Miami. And I think it's because it's, it's some grit here and 
everybody's uh, trying to grow businesses here, and uh, we're all going to make it work by working together. To know Wynwood is to take a gallery walk on the second Saturday of the month. And that's exactly what we did. It's a heartbeat in Miami. It really is one of the, one of the, the ambiance here is fantastic and I, I, I wouldn't miss it. I was going to go down to the Keys this weekend and I turned it down because it was a second Saturday. The Wynwood Social Club is another integral part of this evolving community. Alexis McLean organizes activities here geared to the young crowds. Over the last six months, it just kind of happened. The Wynwood Social Club was here, and we just thought it was such a great venue to bring the market here with the lounge to offer something a little bit different. We've got local designers that are doing really new, exciting, interesting stuff. But it never had a personality, you know? Now it has a personality. Wynwood has to be defined physically and mentally. Art, artistry, creativity, cleverness, skillfulness, talent, ingenuity, genius, compassion, mastery, passion, emotion, desire, imagination, drive, love, affection, music, drink, food, and laughs. It all comes with the territory. And this describes what this place is all about. There is a passion to it. There's an emotion to it. Uh, I feel it, and I'm sure everybody else does too. For more information about Wynwood, visit winwood.com. The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.